a craft beer destination in the southeast, partly because of the, the speed with which everything has grown. You know, Cigar City opened up in 2009 and there were six craft breweries in the area and we're fast forwarding now 11 years and there's over 80. All right, film fans, listen up, because for 15 years, the Gasparilla International Film Festival has been bringing quality independent filmmaking to the Tampa Bay area, and the festival is back next weekend. And to give us a preview of what the festival will look like, here's President Tim Sedner and local director James Blankenfeld. Thank you so much, guys, for joining us. Thank you so, so much, much for having, having us. us. Yeah. Tim, 15 years. I cannot Boy, believe it's it. It's hard to believe, isn't right? it? Yeah. Our first film festival was back in 2007, and we have been lucky enough to continue to bring our film festival to the Tampa Bay community, and we are just grateful to be back. Excellent. Uh, and I know after that kind of a break, if you will, are things yeah. going back to normal, normal or semi-normal? <laughs> <laughs> We're trying to make them as normal as possible. Um, and part of that this year is we are having our full program in person. Uh, we'll be uh, having our festival from March 10th to March 13th. And uh, we're really looking forward to it because um, as part of that, as part of coming back in person, we're going to have uh, filmmakers, writers, directors, actors for almost all of the films that we're showing. So come out, see a movie, and also get to engage with uh, the people behind the film. Absolutely. How many films are you hosting this year? Um, it's always hard to count, but I, I would say at least 100 with all the shorts wow. programs and the documentaries and features. Yeah. Excellent. And can you tell me one that basically you're looking forward to? Sure. So um, it, Friday night, uh -huh. uh, University of Tampa, the Furman Arts Center, which if you haven't seen, come out and check it out. Uh, we'll be playing the movie The Outfit, which stars uh, the Academy Award winner uh, Mark Rylance and uh, Zoe Deutsch. And it's a... Uh, uh, it's a mystery, crime, drama, comedy of sorts. It's hard to explain, but uh, those two characters uh, run a, a tailor shop in Chicago, oh. and they get uh, they get mixed in with a, a Chicago mob family and the drama that comes with it. So. Um, don't want to say too much, lots uh -huh. of twists and turns, but I think anyone who comes out and sees it will have a great time. We're there for the comic relief, Ben, there, for sure. Yeah. And I know this is an international film festival. Is there one of the films that you can point out as well that's going to give us a little bit of a taste of other communities, other cultures? Sure, yeah, no. So um, Sunday, we, March 13th, we are playing Voices from Cuba, again, at University of Tampa, um, a documentary about uh, Cuban immigrants coming over to mm -hmm. America and their story. Um, so it's a it's a very interesting film. I think a lot of locals will will enjoy it. Excellent. And yeah. of course, we're talking history, but we're also talking fun because craft beer is a thing here in Tampa Bay, of course. Mm -hmm. And James <laughs> did he directed a very cool documentary. So tell us a little bit more about that because I know you did a little bit of history, some digging in the 1800s. Wow. Yeah, the film's called Tampa Beer: Crafting the Bay, um, and we basically do a deep dive into the history of craft beer in Tampa Bay. Um, you know, craft beer started here in the late 1800s. And we kind of follow the journey through Prohibition, out of Prohibition, when Anheuser-Busch came here and all the craft breweries kind of had to stick together and kind of fight their way wow. to continue to survive. And here we are where there's over 100, you know, craft beers or craft breweries in the Bay um, and they're still growing as we speak. So it's been cool to kind of see the history of where they started to where they are now. And we dive into beer, different styles, the brewers, the community that surrounds beer. So it's, if you love beer, you love history, you're going to enjoy this film. Absolutely. Is there something that happened along the way? Any fun fact that you want to share with us? Um, <laughs> I mean, we shot over the course of eight months, so, so we encountered a lot. Um, mm -hmm. I think one of the coolest things was when we went to uh, the old Florida Brewing Company building in Ebor, which was where craft beer got its start here. Um, and Dale Swope, he's a lawyer um, who owns the building, his practice is inside there. And he was kind of giving us history of the building and told us all of these ghost stories that have happened oh. um, <laughs> and, and sightings and, and sounds that people have heard over the years. So we kind of got this like behind the scenes ghost tour through the building. Um, and it was very fascinating to say the least. And there's a two part thing here. We're learning about all the history, but we're also having fun and drinking beer. Tim, tell us about this outstanding <laughs> right. event. It's hard not, <laughs> not to listen to Mark and want a beer, right? So right. we are having a full event around this uh, March 13th, starting at 1 p.m. and going to 5, uh, Curtis Hickson Park. In addition to James' uh, documentary, which is free, uh, we will also be having beer trucks, food trucks, and a uh, little free beer tasting right after the movie. So you get to come out, see Mark's film, or uh, James. James. <laughs> see James' yes. film, uh, and you also get to uh, taste the, brewers that you, the breweries that you're seeing on the screen. So it should be a great 
event. And it's a family friendly event, which is very important. It's very family friendly, yes. Okay. Sure. Yes. And I promise we were not drinking craft beer. We're just having a lot of fun this morning. <laughs> right. Thank you guys for coming. And of course, thanks for having us. Of course, into the Gasparilla Film Festival, 10 March 10th through the 13th. There you go.